Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm Matt and I'm sitting in my 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. And suffice to say, I don't get all of the fun things that the newer cars get with these updates, but I'm gonna still explain those items as I go through the video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the update 2025.2. And this is the first update that I have had since the holiday update about six or seven weeks ago. And as usual, this time of year, there's not a lot of things that are added with these updates, little things here and there, and this one is no different because they tend to stack all of the good stuff in the holiday update. So let's get started. I'm gonna go into the cars menu, gonna go down into software, and I'm gonna click on the release notes. And as you can see, there is just two items here on my car. There are other updates for other cars, so I'll talk about those after I go through these. So first thing on the list is third-party fast charger preconditioning. Your vehicle now supports preconditioning for additional third-party fast chargers, even if they aren't listed on the charger list. Simply set a fast charger as your destination and battery preconditioning will start automatically when needed to optimize charging performance. So what this does is it allows you to go to CCS chargers and get the same preconditioning that the superchargers offer when you enter them into the navigation. This is really handy on trips and those times that you need to use a CCS charger when there aren't any Tesla superchargers available. On newer cars, you're going to see a rear cross traffic chime. When you shift into reverse, a warning sound will play from the direction of an incoming object detected crossing behind you such as a vehicle or pedestrian. You would go into controls, safety, rear cross traffic chime. So if I do that on mine, I'm curious to see, it's not listed as a feature on mine, so I'm gonna just check and go through here. Yeah, so mine does not have that. So I am guessing that the rear cross traffic chime is on the newer AMD CPUs. Since mine's an older Intel, it's not as powerful. And I'm guessing that the rear cross traffic chime needs more power that the Intel can't provide. So unfortunately, mine doesn't have it. But if you have a newer car with the AMD processor, you got that. Then there's the hands-free trunk opening for Android. This is for the new Model 3 and new Model Y. Already available on iPhones, this feature is now supported on Android phones, making it easier to open the trunk when your hands are full. Simply stand near the desired area with your phone key unobstructed. Listen for the chimes and the trunk or frunk will open automatically. Ensure people and clothing are clear of moving parts. This requires Tesla app version 4.41.0 or later. To enable this feature, go into controls, locks, hands-free trunk or frunk on your vehicle's touchscreen. On your UWB supported phone, go to settings and enable nearby or ultra wideband UWB interactions for the Tesla app or go to phone key upgrade. And then if you have the new S or new X, you get frunk. So just to explain further, the three and the Y don't have the frunk function, just the trunk. And the older three and Y don't get this feature since they lack the UWB hardware in the newer vehicles. Now, if I go back to my list here, there are minor updates and I'll go through those. Weather information is now displayed for both the final destination and the waypoints in your routes turn by turn list. The Battle of Polytopia, the forgotten Aquarian skin. This update comes with the new Aquarian skin, new languages and balance changes. Also, we have minor fixes and performance enhancements have been applied. 
and this update includes important security fixes and improvements like they usually do. Nothing specified, just general fixes. And that's it for everything that is officially on the release notes. I also found out that there are service mode changes. All right, so let me get into that. I'll go into the menu here, go down to, let's see, software, and then just hold your finger on the Model 3 for a few seconds. And then you'll get, enter the access code. So we'll just type in service, then OK. Uh, the normal uh, warning thing here, I'm going to enter. Service mode starts up. So one thing I see listed here is charge port calibration. So let's go look for charge port, go into high voltage, charging, the charge port calibration routine and charge port latch calibration route have been added to the charging panel. Those routines are required to be run following the replacement of the charge port or charge port door and this affects all Model 3s and Model Ys. Also, we have a signal viewer panel. A new signal viewer panel is available to monitor multiple signal values live on a graph. If one or more of the signal values is unavailable, the graph will stop updating. To access the new panel, tap on Tools and Signal Viewer. And I'm not gonna have that on my vehicle since I have the Intel chip so if you have the AMD chip, that's what you would do. All right, that's all there is for today's update of 2025.2 for my Tesla Model 3. If there's anything I missed in this, please let me know down in the comments. If you do have any questions or other comments, also leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.